So you're going to use lightweights, or of course if you don't have lightweights, you can supplement or replace them, I should say, with filled water bottles or um, bean cans. Those are both great options. Or you can go without any weights and just focus on body weight. We're also going to be using a slider. So any type slider thing, that was a great sentence, works <laughs> for me. I'm going to go with a dish towel because I'm on this smooth surface. Dish towel or um, a little like baby receiving blanket or anything like that on a smooth surface is perfect. If you're on carpet, you're going to want to use something a little smoother. A paper plate works really well, or a magazine, um, a thin hardcover book, or even anything. Anything flat and smooth that will glide along the carpet is what you're going to need. So just go ahead and take that and place your weights and your dish towel or whatever it is for your slider to the side. And come into crown ball. Crown down to the feet. And then notice here, if right away you start to roll to the outer edges of the feet, if you start to arch into the low back, see if you can just press down through all four corners of the feet. Draw energy up between the inner thighs, draw the pubic bone up just slightly to help engage the core. And use your exhale to hug the ribcage in. Keep the ribcage hugging in, sweep that left arm high, inhale, big side stretch. As you exhale, we're going to bend the knees, roll through the spine all the way up and over to the other side. Reverse that. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, sweep the spine around. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just articulate through the upper spine, opening up through the back body. Last one. Inhale. If you feel ridiculous, that's okay. Come back to center. Inhale, both arms high. Exhale, hinge the torso forward. I'm going to come in profile so you can see my form a little better here. Legs haven't changed. Core is still really active. Ribs are still hugging in. I'm going to inhale, bend the knees, and shift the weight back. There is your squat position. Exhale, stretch the legs, pushing through the heels. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push. Two more. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push through the heels. Feel the glutes fire. Last one, hold the bend. Hands to prayer. Left knee lifts you, twist towards it. Come back to your squat. Right knee lifts you, twist toward it. Come back to your squat a little faster. Twist, squat, twist, squat. So as you move here, see if you can really squeeze the standing glutes as you rise up. The thumbs are going to stay in the center of the chest. And you want to really twist from the waist. So your shoulders aren't twisting. Your waist is twisting. So that you really start to fire up the obliques. Four more. Four, three, two, hold it low, inhale, exhale, left foot back, quarter turn, face me, open up the inner thighs, bring the hands to the inner thighs, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, left shoulder twist, inhale, center, exhale, twist right, two more, inhale, center, exhale, twist, left shoulder, inhale, center, exhale, twist. Come back to center. Rib cage is hugging in. I want you to lift the chest up as much as you can, keeping the rib cage in. So if bringing your shoulders all the way back over your hips is not an option, it's okay. It's totally fine. Just lift your chest as much as you can, keeping the ribs hugging in. Squeeze the elbows in. Press all the way up. Squeeze all the way down. Pick it up. Press. Squeeze. Press. Squeeze. So as you move here, Feel your shoulder blades start to glide up and down, side to side, opening and squeezing in. Just you're starting to get a little bit of range of motion through the shoulders, through the shoulder blades, a little bit of warm up through the entire socket. You have four, three, two, hold it low, arms extend, or of course they can come to prayer, your choice. Right heel lift, left heel lift, go right, left. If you wanted more, rotate your palms to face me and take it, squeeze, reach, squeeze, reach. You have eight, seven, six, meet me center in three, two, both heels down, squeeze the elbows. Inhale, arms sweep high, toes turn in, forward fold. You can wrap the hips from side to side if that feels good for you. Mm. Inhale. Exhale, crawl your way over to the left foot. And then go ahead and come into a high plank. So my mat is folded here for space purposes. 
but please have your mat long if you have the space so you have a little bit more support for your knees. If at any point you need to tap your knees down and pull your heels to your seat, do it. Spread the fingers really wide and feel the thumbs squeeze in towards center. So you're really actively squeezing the hands in and opening across the collarbones. Inhale, breathe length to the back of the neck. Exhale, hug the ribcage in. Inhale, push back through the heels. Exhale, squeeze the sits bones in and draw the pelvic floor up. Just hold it here. Eight. Seven. Abdominals are lifting. Six. Five. You're breathing. Four. Three. Two. Hips high. Downward down. Feel free to paddle through the feet if that feels good for you. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, roll through the spine. Back to your plank, tap your forearms down, forearm plank. Elbows are going to be in the armpits, hands are in line with the elbows. Open across the collarbones and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the sits bones in. Now, without actually moving, I want you to try to pull the right elbow back towards the right hip. And as you do that, I want you to dip your right hip towards the right. So right elbow, right hip are reaching towards each other. Inhale. Exhale, back to center. Left side. Start to the left elbow. Actively pull the left elbow back. Dip the left hip towards the left elbow. Pull them towards each other. Inhale. Exhale, back to center. One more time. Right elbow back. Right hip dips. Inhale. Exhale, back to center. Last time. Left elbow draws back. Left hip dips. Inhale. Exhale, back to center. Tap the knees down, kind of child's pose. Big toes come together, knees open wide. Inhale, exhale. Shift your back to all fours. Grab a weight into your right hand. I'm gonna slide my mat so it's under my knee here. My knees, I should say. One weight is in my right hand. Left hand is planted. Extend the left leg back behind you. Extend the right arm back behind you. Inhale, exhale, float the leg up. Now you might notice here that that left hip wants to lift. See if you can pull the abdominals in, hug the rib cage in, and use the obliques, the side body that you just fired up in that forearm plank to help stabilize you. Right arm, left leg, go, little up, little lift, little squeeze, little squeeze. Back of the neck is really long. Collarbones are nice and broad. And you're continuing to find support through the abdominals. So it's easy here to drop the belly and arch the back. Fight that, lift the belly, hug the low ribs in, and stay really long through the spine. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Right arm, left leg, you're gonna reach out to the side six inches, and then they're gonna squeeze back into center. Two counts, it's inhale open. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale open. Exhale, squeeze and lift, two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze, last one. Inhale, open. Now hold that squeeze, rotate your right palm to face the floor. Squeeze your pinky finger in. Stretch the right arm straighter, and one more time, lift little up, little up. So left glute, right tricep are squeezing and working here as you lift up for 16, 15. We're just gonna switch sides, there's no hold, it's 12. Could you get the right arm a little straighter? Go eight, seven, six, squeeze them in. It's four, three, two, weight down, left knee down, switch sides, weight into the left hand. Right leg extends, inhale, float everything up. Exhale, push through that right palm and lift the belly. Left arm, right leg lift, a little up, little up, little up. So I'm starting with my left palm facing me. If that doesn't feel good, if you prefer the palm down, feel free to do that. Again, you'll notice that the right hip here wants to lift or wants to drop. See if you can use your core to stabilize the pelvis so it's not dipping or lifting. It's just like it was in neutral when you were standing. Eight, seven, six, and go four, three, two, left arm, right leg. You're going to reach out to the side. Squeeze them in. 
the two counts. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, lift it higher. Two more. Inhale, out. Exhale, squeeze. Last one. Inhale, out. Now hold that squeeze. Left palm rotates down to the floor. Pinky finger squeeze in. Last time, it's a little up. Little squeeze. Little up. Right glute. Left tricep. Stretch more length through both limbs as you lift it up for 16, 15. Now see if you can keep this core strong and the back of the neck long. Go eight, seven, no hold, go six, go four, three, two, set the weight down, hands under the shoulders, extend the legs back behind you, last thing on your palms today, I promise. Now I encourage you to take your knees for these and curl your heel to your seat. I find it get a lot deeper that way. Squeeze the elbows in. Leading with the chest, inhale, chatter on the push-up. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Back of the neck is long, inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower. Now lower it down and hold it there. Soften the shoulders from the ears. Draw the rib cage up and in. Go down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up. You have eight, seven, six, five. You're almost there. Go three, go two, downward dog. Lift the hips high. Push the mat away. Paddle the feet if it feels good. Shake the head. Inhale. Exhale. Step your left foot forward. Grab your slider. Grab your weights. Come on up. So your left foot's going to be on the mat. And your right is going to be on your slider. You're going to start with your hips square to the left side wall. Weights are in hand. Now from here, I want you to ground down to the left heel. Draw the right hip forward and be sure to come up to the tippy toes of that right foot. So you want very little weight into the right foot here. Palms open towards the wall in front of you. Bend the elbows in half. From here, we're going to hinge the torso forward. Slide that right leg back and press the elbows up. Now push through the left heel, squeeze that left glute, and draw yourself all the way back up to stand. You take it down, two, three, four, squeeze, lift, three, four, take a slide, two, three, four, take a lift, two, three, keep going. It's slow. I want it to be slow. That's a great thing. Push through the heel and really slow down on the way up. You're going to get a little shake. That's awesome. And push it up. I've heard the very cheesy expression that it's your muscles giving you a round of applause. Now, I've never found that to be necessarily true, but it does make me smile. And having fun while you work out is really the key. Slide it down. Two, three, four. Press it up. Two, three. Four more like that. You've got this. Stay soft in the face. Stay soft through the shoulders. Really grip the weights. Or if you don't have weights, I want you to make fists and really squeeze them. Two more. Go down. Two, three, four. Squeeze it up. Two, three. You know we're going to hold it low here. Down. Two, three. Hold it low. Torso is hinged forward to the shoulders over that front knee. Pull the front left hip back to help square your pelvis. Now just press your arms a little up. Little squeeze, little press, little press, little up. So you're holding this low position, this deep contraction, this, all this work in your left leg. And now we're adding a little bicep, a little shoulder. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold that squeeze. Rotate palms to face each other and extend the arms forward. Shoulders are soft. Both elbows row in as that back knee pulls. Notice my front leg stayed bent. I'm not coming up at all. Inhale, extend everything up. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale in. Inhale out. If you want to pick up speed here, you're welcome to. If you want to stay slow with me and focus on breath, that's a great option too. I'm hoping your left glute, your left thigh, your left hamstrings are all on fire. That's the goal. This is thigh and seat work combined. 
So we'll take a whole slider series, focusing on working the left leg, and we'll transition it into the right leg. Four more. And reach. Squeeze the weight, squeeze the triceps, reach it out. Two more. Squeeze it in. Reach it out. Last one, squeeze it in. Reach it out. Squeeze the weights together. Roll the shoulders from the ears. Take it a little down, a little up, a little down, a little up. Left toes, excuse me, right toes are reaching back an inch, in an inch. If you're pushing through the left heel, go four. Go three. Things will change in two. Hold the low inhale. Exhale, stay bent in this left knee, just quarter turn to face me, turning your left toes and hinging forward into a lateral lunge. Weights are squeezed. Right toes are still on the slider. Hips are squared to me. Look down at your left toes. Make sure they're pointing straight forward. You don't want them pointing out. Knee is tracking over second and third toe here. Inhale, push that left heel, rise up. Two, wide arm row. Take it down, or rather a fly, excuse me. So it's like you're hugging a tree. You open the arms. Two, three, ribs stay hugging in. You squeeze them. Two, three. So, think back to your arm. Take that hinge in the chest as you come down. So the hips reach back first. Hips back, then the knee bends. And what that allows is more work, but also a lot of protection for this left knee joint. Push it up. Two, three, inner thigh squeeze, draw it down. Two, three, four. Lift it up, two, three, you've got this. Take it down. You've got four more that look like that. Go lift, two, ribs are hugging in. Go lower, hips back, hips back, hips back, yes. Two more, go lift, two, three, four. Take it down, two, three. Last one, go lift, two, three. Take it down and hold it, two, three. Legs stay as they are. Arms fly open, hug the ribs in. Pubic bone draws up just slightly to help engage the abdominals. Go, little press of the elbows, little press, little press, little press. 16, 15. Weaves into the left heel, left hip is drawing back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Squeeze weights together. You've got this. Right toes pull in. Right toes stretch out. Right toes pull in. Right toes stretch out. Let's pick it up. In, out. Squeeze the weights together. Activate through the chest. You have eight. Things will change. Seven. No holds. Six. Breathe. Get lower. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Hold it. Come to center. Bend both knees. Wide leg squat, arms extend, bicep curl, rise it up, extend it down. Yes, this should feel glorious on that left leg. Now, if you're feeling this in your low back, you can take out these squats and you can just stand and do a bicep curl. Take this time though to activate the core, okay? So draw the pubic bone up slightly. You're still going through bicep curls, by the way, don't stop. Hug the rib cage in and stay really active. Once you feel like your core is really active, join us back in these squats. And left, these shouldn't feel super challenging. Just giving your left leg a moment. Take it down. Take it up. Whoa. Take it down. You have four more. Keep going. I'm just going to move my mat. Four. And lift. Go three. And lift. Two more. Yes. Last one, come up, meet me low. Take your left foot, put it on the slider. Take your right foot, put it on your mat if it's not already there. Extend those left toes out, you're in this lateral lunge. We're gonna reverse the series we just did. So now it's the right knee, stacks over the right second and third toe. All five toes pointing forward. Be sure not to point them out, yes. Palms down to the floor, weights tap together. Wide arm row, you squeeze it up for four, three, two, one, take it down, three, two, one, squeeze it up, 
three, two, one, take it down. Three, two, one, keep going. So now you're stabilizing on that right leg. You push through the right heel as you come up and then hips back, abdominals dropping in. Push through the heel, take it slow, take it slow. Squeeze the elbows down, hips back and tap the weights. Go up, squeeze, 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 take it down. You have three more. Yes, you can go push through the heel, go slow, slower than you want. Yes, go down, two, three, two more. Go lift, two, three, inner thigh squeeze, go lower, two, three. Last one, go lift, two, three, squeeze the elbows down, two, hold it. Legs stay, elbows roll back, go a little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze, little squeeze. Rib cage is heavy in, shoulder blades squeeze together, go, squeeze, squeeze, soften the shoulders, soften the back of the neck, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze the weights, left toes in, the left toes out, the left toes in, right leg isn't moving, the left toes out, pick it up, in, out, slide it, out, in, so in order to slide successfully, you want very little weight into that left foot. If you need to slow down here, please do, absolutely. Eight, seven, six, right hip back, weight into the right heel, go four, go three, go two. Last one, hold that out, inhale. Exhale, quarter turn to the right. Square the hips off. Left foot is still on the slider. Pull the right hip back, abdominals draw in. This time, arms extend, thumbs point up to the ceiling. Hammer curl as you slide. Two, three, four, and lift. Two, three, squeeze the glute down. Two, three, torso is hinging forward as you come down. So my shoulders stay stacked over my front right knee the entire time. I'm allowing this long line from my toes to the crown of my head to continue. It just hinges as the toes go back, the head goes forward, and as the toes come up, the head lifts up. You're pushing through the left heel, excuse me, through the right heel. You have very little weight into the left toes, and that's going to allow you to slide really smoothly. Four more. Right hip back, right heel pushes down, slowly push, squeeze, feel that shake, lower it down. Lift it up. You have two more, you've got this. Lower it down. Lift it up. Last one, take it down. Two, three, I want you to hold it there. Pull that front right hip back and allow the arms to press up to frame your face. Just press the elbows a little up, little press, little press, little press. If you need more, bring the hands together to touch and press the elbows up, go a little up, a little up. Back left hip draws forward. Push weight through the front right heel and go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Extend the arms, palms face each other. Shoulders back, inhale. Exhale, knee draws in, elbows draw back. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, pull it in. This is it for single leg work. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw it in. If you want to speed up here, do it. I would love for you to do that. I'm going to stay slow and focus on keeping my hips stable and really fatiguing this right leg. Reach it out and draw it in. Reach it out, draw it in. You have four more, let's go, it's four. And squeeze. You have three, get lower. And squeeze, there's no hold. You have two, get lower. And squeeze, last one. Reach it out, squeeze it in. Push the slider to the side. Lay back on your back. Let me just unfold my mat here. Keep your weights here on your back, on your mat. Bend the knees. 
and then walk the heels out to the outer edges of the mat and turn your toes out slightly. So you have a slight external rotation in the legs. Press the arms up, overhead. Now, inhale. And as you exhale, soften the ribs, push through the heels, and lift the seat a few inches off the mat. From there, rotate the palms to face the wall in front of you. Wide arm rub. Press it up. Row it down. Squeeze it up. Now, if you have heavier weights, this would be a good time to switch to them because it is a lot less fatiguing down here. I have two pound weights. I'm gonna stick with those, but I'm really gonna squeeze and resist. Push through your heels and imagine dragging the mat back towards your glutes. So you're really firing the hamstrings here. This is just a great way to finish with two legs working. Two more of the arms, row it down. Squeeze it up. Now hold it down. Soften the ribs, push through the elbows, and squeeze your weights. Lift your seat up, go. Little up, little squeeze, little squeeze. This is it, this is seat work, this is thigh work. So see if you can close your eyes and go inside. If you feel more successful with your arms extended, go there. Push through your heels, and actively pull the mat back towards your glutes. Now you'll really feel your hamstrings fire there. Notice if your rib cage is flaring open or your low back is arching. Lengthen the low back. Use your exhale to soften the rib cage down. <sighs> Relax the shoulders and face. Go eight, seven. You do have a hold here. That's where you'll finish in four, three, two. Hold the up. Now you can stay right here or you can extend the arms up overhead. Rotate the palms to face each other. Inhale. And then exhale, sweep the arms back, keeping the rib cage down, keeping the arms strong, push through the heels and lift the glutes up. You're here for eight, seven, six, five. You've got this four, three, two, weights down, seat down, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. We'll take a nice stretch for the glutes at the end of class. Let's power through, we're almost there. All you have left is core. Let your feet fall to the mat. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, rib cage hugs down. Hip bones hug in. Sides of the waist dry. One more time, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, squeeze the sits bones in. And feel your pelvic floor lift up. Lift both heels off the mat. Toes are gonna stay down. Take an inhale. Exhale, right leg up. You can stay like this. If you want more, left leg's gonna join it. I'm gonna stay with my left toes down today. Just the right leg. Inhale. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, stretch it out. Again, your left leg can be lifted, and you could just be holding it there. I'm gonna stay with my left toes down because I really wanna focus on my right side obliques here. Exhale, reach. Inhale, pull. Exhale, reach. Now, as you extend the leg, you want to feel the right side body hugging and down and the rib cage hugging and down. If you'd like a little bit more, we're going to take the hands behind the head. Inhale. Exhale, curl it up. So shoulder blades are lifted off the mat. As your knee pulls in, twist toward it. Reach it up. Take your twist. Extend it out. Now, if you prefer to switch the breath pattern, so you exhale on the twist, that's a great option. Just breathe. However it feels natural for you to breathe, do that. <clears throat> you have four more here. Armpit reaches towards the knee. Come back to center. Left armpit to right knee. Come back to center. Two more. Twist. Come back to center. Now I want you to hold that twist. I want you to option here to extend the arms out to the outside of that right thigh. Curl it up. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, inhale, lower the right toes, lower the head, neck, and shoulders. In, exhale, left leg up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, extend. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, extend. So start before you curl up. Really find the left side obliques firing. Pull the knee in. Curl, extend. Now, if the right leg is lifted, fantastic. See if you can keep the right knee stacked 
right over the right hip. So oftentimes, as our left leg extends, our right knee is going to pull closer to our chest. Now, if you feel really strong here, stay here. If you want to take it up a little bit more, inhale, exhale, curl head, neck and shoulders up, twist toward the knee. Extend the leg up in the center. Twist, extend. Use your breath here. So I am cueing, inhale, twist, exhale, extend. But if the opposite works better for you, do that. That's totally fine. The beautiful thing about working out at home, do what works for you. Really listen to your body. There's nobody to compare to. And if you can't already tell, I am a sweaty, sweaty mess. So I hope you are too. This is your class. You do what works best for you today. Last one, I want you to hold that twist. Option to extend the arms to the outside of that left leg. Go a little curl for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. This time I want you to stay up. Hands can go back behind the head. Inhale back to center. If your left leg isn't already lifted, excuse me, your right leg isn't already lifted, join me here with both legs up in this rooftop position. Inhale, butterfly knees open. Exhale, squeeze them closed. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. You could do this 100% with your head down on the mat. If you have any neck issues, please do this. This is still a great way to activate the abdominals. To make this more challenging, you're going to push the legs farther away from you. But you're only going to do that if you can keep the ribs down and the low back in a neutral position. So it's either in a neutral or if you prefer to push your low back into the mat, that's totally fine. You just don't want to arch the back up. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And I want you to hold the open. Say, yes, I can. Inhale. And exhale, extend the legs out. Cross. Right over left. Switch. Left over right. Do it faster. Go. Right. Left. Switch. Switch. So this is really going to activate the inner thighs here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Draw the low belly down. And of course, head can be down here. If your head is down, soften. Let the weight of the head melt into the mat. You have 16, 15, 14, 13, maybe legs go lower, eight. You just have a final hold, you're almost there. Go four, three, two, heels together. Now you can stay right here, or you can send the bridge just forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull low belly down, pull rib cage in and down, and curl higher. The legs get lower. This is it. Close your eyes. Go inside. We're almost to your stretch. You're here for eight, seven. How do you want to finish this class? Six. Where can you get deeper? Where can you breathe more? Four. You're here for three. Curl higher. You're here for two. Hug your knees in. Let your head rest back. Ah. And rock side to side. You made it. Big inhale. Big exhale. Right side figure four. Left foot down. Right ankle crosses over left thigh. You can stay like this, or use your exhale to float the legs up. Reach through, grab a hold of the back of that left thigh, and circle the left ankle around. <sighs> Reverse that circle, inhale. Exhale. Now maybe it feels good for you just to stay right here. Please do. If you want a little twist, I'm gonna take a nice gentle one. Inhale, open the arms to a cactus or a T. Exhale, let the legs fall to the left. And let that right foot just stamp down into the mat. Now, I like to take my left hand and grab my right ankle. And then kind of push my right thigh open here so I get a little deeper stretch for the outer right hip. Right shoulders anchored down. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale your way back to center. Switch sides, right foot down, left ankle crosses. Now you can stay right here and just focus on gently pressing the left thigh open. Or you can lift your right thigh up on an exhale and grab a hold of the back of it. Right ankle circles around here. Inhale. Exhale, reverse your circle. Now this might be a great position for you and you just want to stay here because it feels so good and do. If you want to take a gentle twist, inhale, arms up to a T or a cactus. Exhale, legs fall to the right. 
left foot stamps into the mat. This could be enough for you, or you can take your right hand, grab that left ankle, and gently press the left knee open. Getting a little more stretch in that left hip. Big inhale. Big exhale. Gently come back to center, hug the knees in, and however it feels good for you to rock your way or roll your way, or press your way up to seated, do that. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, open the chest, lift the tarp. Do it again, inhale, lift the fingertips. Exhale, open the chest. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, open. Let yourself come back to neutral. Hands can rest in your lap. That is your class today. Any other stretches you need, take them. Any feedback, any questions, any requests for new classes, please reach out to me. I love to hear from you. Great work today.